a lot of artists are being programmed to make music that they hate and they don't even realize a lot of artists want to go viral a lot of artists want to fit in a lot of artists want the clout a lot of artists want to prove people wrong and that's the program a lot of artists are afraid to go left when a lot of artists are going right if everybody's doing this this means it's good it means it's working they don't realize that going right contributes to oversaturation where you can go left and carve out your own unique lane and stand out but artists will be like but sky if i go right it's easier because i see what worked for him him her them they this person this person this person this person but it's like but for every one person that is working for it there's 100,000, 200,000 people that it's not working for. But if you go left, it's going to be a harder route, but it's going to be worth it because you're going to learn a lot more along the way. And you're going to build an audience, a community of people that are for you. And now that I got the trash artists out the way, could you like the video and stick with me to the end? Because I don't want you to continue to make music that you hate. The first step of the programming is that artists make music that they don't even like. A lot of artists be like, yo, I really get busy with this lyrical shit, but this melodic, this trap, this auto-tune shit, this is what's, what's popular. This is what's popular. So I got to force myself to make this music. You don't have to force yourself to make that music. There are people that love lyrical rap still. It might not be as popular mainstream as you would want it to be, but there's artists out there that's making a million dollars a year, half a million dollars a year, a hundred K a year, being lyrical, making the music that they want to make. A lot of people see Yeet winning and they'll be like, yo, I can rap better than Yeet. So let me go over here and do what he's doing. You don't like that music. So why are you even trying to make it? And I'm not talking about the people that's trying to find their sound, find their style. I'm talking to the people that actually understand what they're doing got some type of motion going whether you got a thousand followers 50 monthly listeners you have something going that you can build on because obviously some people find you interesting figure out what brought them there in the first place but a lot of people fall victim to the programming because they want want to go viral they want to fit in they want to be accepted by every underground rapper every rapper in a city everybody they don't you know what i say like that's the problem. Like, make the music that you like. Make the music that you love. Stop making music to fit in. Stop making music just for the purpose of going viral. If you're not being authentic, it's going to be a problem because you're going to build a brand around something that you're not. And a lot of artists burn out because of that because you're not being authentic and speaking of authentic that leads me to the second part of the programming this part of the programming really keeps a lot of artists in check you and the other artists that like the video like come on like the video you're afraid to be called corny whack lame trash you need to stop i don't know why people would even listen to you you can't mix your voice sucks you're afraid of that and that contributes to the programming because you're not going to be yourself right if you're authentically being yourself, people can't really control that. But what they can control is like, hey, if you're not dressing like this, people aren't going to like your pictures. If you're not making content like this, you're not going to get no views. If you're not rapping about this, you're not going to get no streams. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get no fans. You're going to be going to world tour. Every artist is not going to go on a world tour. The sooner you accept that, It'd be easier for you to make music, you know what I'm saying, for the people that you can go tour from city to city. You might be able to do a 25-city tour, right? You might not be able to do a 200-city tour, you know? You might be able to do a 10-city tour. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't let other people's metrics of success be your own personal metrics. And the reason why I said number two is one of the most important things is because I almost fell for the programming myself as a content creator. People will call me whack. People will call me corny. People will call me everything under the sun. People will say I'm faking how I talk. But I'm like, bro, this is how I talk. I really talk like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be like, you don't, nobody know what's talk like that. You're trying to talk cool. It's like, bro, nah, bro. You just think I talk cool. This is how I talk. I'm from the South. I'm sorry. I don't talk like where you from. Oh, your songs are whack. Your songs are corny. But it's like, bro, like people be wanting me to drop music. People like my music. And then I learned it's like a lot of people that leave hate comments. They leave hate comments because they hate seeing people actually be happy doing what they do and making content, making music, having fun. I love doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, And yeah, I almost fell for the programming because the 
YouTube programming would be, hey, Sky, make presets. Keep making presets. Only make presets. But a lot of people don't realize a lot of my content that got a lot of the views, it's not preset content. It's me talking to the camera. It's me recording. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be like, oh, you need to be teaching us how to mix because you need to be. Like, bro, I can't teach you how to mix unless you watch what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. You're not going to watch one video and become a, a mixing engineer. That's not going to happen. Third part of the programming, a lot of artists ain't going to like what I got to say, but I got to say it anyway. You're making music that you hate because you've been tricked into thinking that you need the acceptance of other artists, other creators. And that's just not the case. You can build your own community of fans. You need to be able to bring in the people that love your music, love your personality, love the way that you think, have similar interests as you outside of making music. Because I see it all the time. That's the sole purpose of why I deleted my Discord server. Because a lot of artists was in there just trying to get approval from other artists, only getting feedback from other artists. It was saying shit like, oh, you don't make music, so you can't tell me how my music sounds or this, this. It's like, bro. The people that don't make music are the people that control the music industry. The nigga that owns Spotify doesn't make music. The people that sign people at these labels don't be making music. Nine times out of ten, the person that's going to buy every single song, every album, go to your shows, tell your friends, and they don't make music. They have regular jobs. A lot of artists don't look at being an artist as like a business, but you're a business. Yeah, you can collab with certain businesses, but at the same time, you're competing with other businesses. It's like, I think somebody left a comment and was like, being accepted by artists is like the highest approval that you can get. No, it's not because they don't care. Like, that's the thing. It's like, you can be cool with people. You can support people but you need fans right when's the last time one of your artist fans actually bought your mixtape bought a hoodie from you actually invested showed up to a show or anything you probably never experienced that right but i get it people are gonna be like but sky you're not even trying to be a rapper so how would you know an artist is this is this? like bro um i make content right in the music space make music all this other shit bro um, I don't care about having no approval from other content creators. Like that doesn't make me or break me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like that's just what it is. It's like that's just like me being like, yeah, bro. I make YouTube videos, so if Divine don't fuck with me, uh, I'm gonna lose sleep. Like, bro, I don't like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like other content creators don't have to like me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just what it comes down to. I don't want to be accepted by. All the other content creators. The only people that I want to be accepted by are the people that these videos are for. The people that want to do music, whether it's a hobby or they want to turn it into a career, full time or part time. I just want to make content for the people that accept the content. Like, if you don't like the content, you don't like the content. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to spend the time, the energy, and the resources trying to convert a hater into a fan like that's pointless because if a person is hating i still have the ability to make a person feel something and i'm getting to the point now where people hate watch me so that means i'm actually doing something good because people want to watch me to hate and that's fine because that's a still they're a fan without knowing that they're a fan like it's crazy right Look, if you want to make music that you like first you gotta stop doing the shit that you hate you gotta be okay a lot of people don't want to be okay a lot of people don't have that self-love that confidence and I understand starting out with zero, under 10,000 followers, whatever, fans, whatever, it could be hard. It could be stressful. But you got to understand, everyone had to break out of that programming at some point. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing now. Like, even to this day, I'm trying to break away from certain things that I don't even like. Because, honestly speaking, I don't even like doing the whole preset shit anymore. Like, that shit is boring. That shit is not helping people. Because the whole time I even made presets in the first place was to help people. Because at the time, everyone was charging people $40, $50, $30 for some bullshit. And I was like, hey, let me just give you free shit that you can record with so you don't so you can save money so you can put towards better microphones better interfaces marketing plans music videos and shit like that but a lot of people took that the wrong way so i want to know in the comment section below what do you like let me know the type of music that you like to make in the comment section below